we got to talk about the marinas, y'all. It's Sneak T. Welcome to the channel. Welcome back to the channel if you guys have subscribed. We need to talk about the marina ones. Let's take a closer look. All right, let me first start by saying I like the marina ones. I am a fan of the marina ones, you guys. I'm not hating on them. I do think they're a dope sh Jordan 1 colorway. And the quality is okay. The quality is not amazing. And I'm going to talk to you guys about why. I want to do a comparison to these, the Shadow 2 Pionos, which I don't have. The Pollens that I do. And um, the 85 high top black and reds right here that I don't have anyway but I'll just compare these to like just pollens and the shadow 2.0s because I did have the shadow 2.0s in hand a few times I got those from my dad and my father-in-law for Father's Day actually but anyways the quality on the shadow 2.0s to me was a one I felt like the new buck was nice and soft I felt like the leather was clean and soft you know what I mean like there was not much flaws i did see a few pairs with glue stains or whatever but overall i feel like the shadow 2.0s were dope same thing for the pollens i feel like the pollens right here they had that more tumble leather and i think i'm just more of a sucker for the tumble leather personally i do like this nice clean black leather too but at the same time i feel like the leather on the pollens in my opinion was nicer this is softer but that tumble leather just really fit this color block and it, I felt like it made the swoosh pop more also so that's just my opinion and the leather on the toe is a little bit different than the pollen ones make sure you guys check out my video of the pollen ones um, where I did do a uh, look at those so you guys can kind of refer to that video and refer back to this one but yeah and another thing I noticed you guys with these marina blues and I noticed this even when like Z Sneakerheads and like uh, Chris Cullen or sorry if I messed up your name but they do the early early pairs and like they were showing early pairs of the marinas and they were like super creased up like this you, you can see the left side is creased up a little bit and these are DS so that's kind of a bummer you know like the quality control like this should have kind of been a B grade in my opinion like yeah they should have been a B grade so I did a trade for these if you guys are wondering I traded some Yeezy MX rocks worn once uh, so let me know what you guys think of that trade who made a better trade <laughs> anyways but yeah these are clean though I do like how they did the tag on the tongue the white on the blue the blue laces you see I went with they got the black and the white laces which I do have I just prefer the blue so but yeah let me know what you guys think of the marinas i just feel like they kind of dropped the ball in the sense of like the quality inconsistency like the shadow 2.0s had the new buck you know the the pollens were all leather but then they had the tumbled and then you got these they're all leather but then like the leather quality to me is just not there so let me know what you guys think of the marinas i still think they're a clean shoe I don't think they're better than the Royal One OGs. They're nice if you don't have the OGs, which I don't, which is why I have these. But yeah, let me know what you guys think of the Marinas. And I also did a video on those back there, the Diamond Low Mids. Check out that video, you guys, as well. Those are super clean. A sleeper, and we're going to watch the price of those creep up. So check out that video. So yeah, I'm not hating on the Marina Blues. Like I said, I like the shoe. I was actually really looking forward to the shoe dropping and I wasn't able to cop for retail. I didn't hit on no sites, man, which is a bummer sometimes. With the sneakers app, I expected. I think we all expect to take an L on the sneakers app. And if you take a dub, it's just like, yo, that's what's up. But on the Flex though, where I stay, I stay in Minnesota and I have like, uh, 598,000 flex points so just shy of 600,000 and I was cooking y'all like I was hitting like I hit on I'm gonna show y'all uh, I hit on 
All right, buddy, I'm coming. I hit on knees on flex. I want to say champs. I hit on knees, and I hit grade school and taller in knees on the flex app. And I also hit on knees in grade school on the flex. This is a men pair, though. I hit these men pair on the Nike app, sneakers app. So that was that. Was, this was probably my most favorite sneakers app cop for sure, y'all. For sure. And my flex account was hidden, man. Ever since. Ever since the freaking Yeezy blue tint, man, that just, they took away the ship to me. Because like I said, flex hit, flex hit. I hit these on flex. Oh, no, I'm sorry. These were the uh, confirmed app. I did hit the mixed rocks on flex. And I hit these on flex. So, man, I know my channel ain't that big, but if somebody's watching that has connection to Flex, App, Foot Locker, all them, y'all. We need the ship to me icon to come back because we need to keep hitting the heat again, y'all. We need to hit some more heat. Please, let's get the ship to me icon back, y'all. We need it. But yeah, you guys, not to get too off subject, but the Marina Blues, I think it's a dope shoe. I think they're really low priced right now if you guys are looking to pick them up. I'd probably say, like, pick them up if you can. If you can, pick them up, for sure. If you're thinking of waiting... If they're gonna go up you think they're gonna drop more i would just get them kind of where at the price they're at now because i don't really see these dropping under 200 bucks for sure i do not so with that being said you guys i hope you gain some value from this video subscribe to the channel but yeah marina blues i need to get the og royals i would have had them if ebay didn't mess up a while back but anyways you guys i appreciate you guys i'll see y'all for another video stay positive